single digit multiplication with zeros. We might have this problem here, 720 times 8. We would start with the ones place, 8 times 0, which is 0. 8 times 2, which is 16. 6, regroup the 1. 8 times 7, which is 56, plus 1, which is 57. 720 times 8 equals 5,760. Just because there's a 0 in the ones place here of this factor here, we still do have to multiply into that ones place. The same thing will hold true if that zero appears in any other place within our number. Here we have 703 times 6. Again, we will start in the ones place. 6 times 3 is 18. We'll replace an 8 and regroup a 1 right into the tens place. At this point, we do 6 times 0, which is 0, plus 1, which is 1 and 6 times 7, which is 42. The important thing here to remember and to know is that you still do work in the tens place, where you do go the 6 times that 0. And when you regrouped, you regrouped right into that tens place. You do not skip a place just because there's a 0 there. So 703 times 6 is 4,218. Here we have 6,005 times 5. We do start in the ones place, 5 times 5, which is 25. 5, regroup that 2 into the tens place. 5 times 0 is 0. Do add that regroup in, plus 2, which is 2. Working in that hundreds place, 5 times 0 is 0, and then 5 times 6, which is 30. Four digit number by one digit gave me a five digit number in this particular case. I also could have possibly gotten a four-digit number as well. 709 times 6. Again, starting in the ones place, 6 times 9 being 54. Place that 4, regroup that 5 right to the tens place. 6 times 0, which is 0, plus 5, which is 5, and 6 times 7, which is 42. 709 times 6 equals 4,254. If a problem is given to you from left to right, please rewrite it so that it is in vertical form there, so that you can go through those steps. 5 times 3 is 15. 5, regroup that 1 right to the tens place. 5 times 0, which is 0, plus 1, which is 1. 5 times 7, which is 35. 5, regroup the 3. And then finally, 5 times 6, which is 30, plus 3, which is 33. 6,703 times 5, equaling 33,515. Here are two problems for you to try. Please go ahead and work out these two problems. Find the products. Hit pause. For that first problem, 7 times 2 is 14. 4, regroup the 1. 7 times 0 is 0, plus 1 is 1, and 7 times 6, which is 42. Do write in your regroups as you are working through these problems. 6 times 3 is 18, 8, regroup the 1. 6 times 0 is 0, plus 1 is 1. 6 times the 0 into the hundreds place is 0, and 6 times 8 is 48. So, 803. 8,003 times 6 is 48,018. 602 times 7 is 4,214. Okay, let's review. The zero is a placeholder within the number. You cannot just skip over that number. In other words, you do work in the ones place, the tens place, the hundreds place, and even the thousands place when you have one. So we start with 9 times 0, which is 0. 9 times 2, which is 18. You place that 8, and you regroup the 1 right into the next place. 9 times 0 is 0, and you do add in that regroup, plus 1, which is 1. And finally, 9 times 6, which is 54. Always do remember to place that comma as well, and you can always think whether or not it's reasonable. If we were to estimate this product, 6,000 times 9 is 54,000. And that's how we multiply with zeros 
by a single digit.